Welcome back to another tutorial in the quickfire slash newbie playlist tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be going over the minerals survey window, uh, or the search window for minerals, um, as there have been quite a bit of confusion, at least in the past, of people not really understanding how to use it, as it can be quite a finicky interface. So this will be added on to the main newbie playlist, uh, newbie starter playlist, um, and we'll be continuing. A few things before we get into the episode, I want to just say a massive thanks to everyone that subscribed, watched the videos, liked, it actually does mean a fuck ton to me, okay? Um, like, from the bottom of my heart, thanks, guys. It, it fucking means a lot. Um, to see people really care about the content and enjoy it, and the amount of positive comments, the community's been amazing. Recently, as you know, probably, Quill18 made a video, uh, or made some videos on the World of Sharp. And um, as such, there's going to be a lot of new players. So make sure to welcome them, bring them into the community. You know, just just all of that shit. Because we need to get this, this community up and, and just alive and, and more people doing it and more people enjoying it. Because at the end of the day, that's really what we want to be able to grow the community and have just a good time. And also, um, uh, just for people who are doing when episodes and stuff out, I don't have a schedule. I don't like setting schedules, but... Um, it's in rotation, so this comes after the last New Horizons episode, and then the next episode after this will be a uh, conventional uh, starting steps where you master the episode. Um, and then it will keep rotating like that. I upload them a varying schedule, depending on how I'm feeling, and that's generally how it is. Um, feel free to leave suggestions for videos, and also um, just say whatever you guys like. What, like ask questions as like things you want to do um i'm thinking if i get a thousand subscribers i do like a q and a i'm kind of just answering questions about the game or about the channel or, or stuff like that i don't know if people would be interested in that let me know um but yeah uh so uh let's get right into it so the mineral uh, window or the mineral survey window as you can see here um is the main thing you use to search for resources really um, you can also obviously use the min text and look in each individual area, but this just kind of compounds it into its own thing. So when you open it, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit search, and this will bring up the list of all known surveyed bodies, okay, that have minerals on them. Okay, so if it looks blank, just click search and that will sort it out. We're going to go through each individual button and how each thing works accordingly. So the first thing is down here, this just searches for it depending on the parameters. So these are all parameters set for you. This creates a colony. So you, if you find a good place you want to build a mine or build an automate, you know, if you want to basically create a colony there uh, for, any, for whatever reason, uh, colony cost, um, all that stuff, then you can just hit create colony. Clear search will uh, clear the search if it's got other stuff on it that's not in the parameters kind of thing. And then sensor selected body uh, will move you to that body, which is actually really good because you can like move to different systems. So like I've got a place in Tau City or I'm in Alpha Centauri right now. If I go to this place, I can go to Tau City or uh, yeah, Tau City. And now I'm in Tau City, as you can see right there. So that's a really awesome thing that you can do. Okay. Now, up here, you're going to have the player race or race that, that, that you're a part of, and you can select that if you have multiple player races. Um, that will show what surveyed bodies they have. And then you have human, obviously, for the race, um, just to deal with the colony cost. So that kind of goes into the colony cost stuff. And then you can look through systems. So if you want to like only look at, like let's say we only want to look at Alpha Centauri, I want to search, it will only look at Alpha Centauri for us. Okay, So that, that's a really awesome thing you can do there. Over here, this will exclude any alien systems or alien planets or any of that kind of stuff. Um, pretty self explanatory. Check colony cost. They will check the uh, required colony cost and make sure it's like set properly. Um, OM eligible means orbital mining eligible. So this is for like asteroids and stuff. So it will only show um, stuff that is, is uh, OM eligible um, accordingly. Exclude high gravity. So this will exclude anything that has too much gravity. So if you're looking for like a colonizable world, uh, that's what humans are or whatever, that has my minerals, then you can do that. Search flag. Um, I haven't used this too much, but I believe you can set flags to certain places and that will, that, that will help. Like there's certain flags you can set. Uh, which are like check marks and like um, different parameters for different planets. Uh, include gas giant, exclude gas giant. So um, this this will allow you to check for gas giants and not gas giants. Look for only gas giants. So if I just want to look for only gas giants, I can see. Look at the sodium. I can have a look. There you go. Very simple. 
uh then we can do include asteroids exclude asteroids asteroids only so if i only want to do asteroids i can look through all of the asteroids here okay um and that's pretty sad so actually, of course so it's really these are really awesome tools that you can use to find minerals so if you're looking for corundium or galasite which a lot of people are and i will be soon in my uh the next episode of the conventional restarting resteps master series then you can use this window accordingly this uh, means max colony cost so you will only allow colony cost above 10 okay but if you, but you have to make sure this is checked so if you if you check this then everything it will be um 10 and below and it will also include low gravity as well so keep that in mind so if you only want colony cost two planets it will only show you colony cost two planets okay so that that's something you can do that then you have all of these so basically how this works right is that it will be a it's a minimum value okay so that everybody has to have at least fifty thousand uranium so this has 1.4 million but if we um if we check if we if we don't check colony cost um and we get rid of the asteroids only then it will find everything with fifty thousand uranium or above if we put in five million or uh to five hundred thousand uranium then it'll be minimum five hundred thousand uranium on that planet and you can then do this for everything else if i put in here twenty thousand neutronium it will show me stuff with that amount of uranium and that amount of neutronium then if you want to look for different accessibility you can be like i only want a minimum of 0 0.5 accessibility and then you'll get planets with a minimum of 0 0.5 accessibility or asteroids or other other places and that's basically how you do the searching for this it's really simple once you know how to do but it can be it can look a little bit complicated uh when you get into it so yeah this this is basically going to be the end of the video um i mean it, it, it there's nothing really too much to say about it um in terms of finding other minerals you can find minerals through here and another point that i want to say is um if you've surveyed bodies in a system if you don't refresh the system by going over here and clicking like on the same system again then they won't show up so keep that in mind i, I think i've said that in the past but i'm, I'm just gonna say it again you don't have like mineral text here which you can look for things um and then over here you can obviously look for minerals on on giant um, on bodies there's also the minimal flag here you can have a flag to thing so um everything with an m indicates that it has minerals on it so you can kind of uh, also search for stuff with minerals or not with minerals so that 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 that, that can work for you so you can hide moons do all that kind of stuff so there you go that's basically uh it um i hope you have enjoyed a quite a short episode today but just something that i think is quite important for newer players especially um just to be able to search for the stuff they want to see i hope you are enjoying the videos and uh, yeah uh, if you are new to the game uh, welcome um i hope you enjoy your stay ask any questions you have and yeah i'll see you next time um uh, please don't like comment and subscribe it really does help out uh you guys have a great one stay safe Bye bye